The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, Sports Concepts and Rationalizations. The rebuild is complete in the Big Apple. Alexi Lafreniere has come home to roost. He is a New York Ranger. He's a Broadway blue shirt, and we couldn't be happier to welcome him to the uh, Big Apple as we look for now. Uh, the cup, the sobering news was that it took the Lightning 11 years after they drafted Stamkos to win a cup. I really don't want to wait 11 years. I'd like to have our cup here in the next cup. I'll so it's been more cups. than 11 since the Lightning won their first cup, huh? Yeah, I guess Boy, so. Yeah, it was four. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Did you see the story of the last pick of the first round? The last pick of the first round's mother mm-hmm. is deaf. Okay. So during the broadcast, when that, I can't remember who the team was, uh-huh. when that team, maybe it's Maybe it is Tampa, but when that team made their pick, mm-hmm. they did it in sign language. Oh, very nice. So, and then they had cameras there for very everything. Nice. It was, yeah, it was, it was. And they uh, had a couple of nice twists. Cool. Uh, one of the, um, was it Howard Chuck who recently passed the Hall of Famer for, and he played at, I think, Winnipeg, and his widow did the pick. And uh, there's some good, there were some nice elements to the NHL draft that happened last night. Baseball extraordinary yesterday. A lot of good stuff. I mean, four games full. Um, your Braves came back in one. Uh, it's Braves Dodgers. You know, I get, I get, I get a little. Uh, and, and by the way, I think the Braves have a shot at beating I do the too. Dodgers. I, don't I know really why do. We're not. Well, I, I'll tell you. Well, I'll but. tell you why they're slow playing it. Yeah. Because every Braves fan got home from work early yesterday, and it was four one, and every Braves fan muttered the same phrase: <laughs> "Same old Braves." And it's not the same old Braves. There's this like yeah. anti Atlanta, anti choke, bizarro Braves thing yeah. going on, and. And, and, and like I told Beef, I've never felt this about Atlanta. I try to be as optimistic as I can. I'm going to believe that this team is is done when the body has gone cold. Yeah. I mean, they can be down 3-0, 4 nothing in the six, and yeah. I'm not going to believe it's over until until they lose. And they just um, – yeah. and I, I haven't – I haven't had a team like that, Hick, maybe since the early 90s, those first couple of Braves teams. So I get that text and I get this text a lot these days, and you don't get this from a typical Braves fan. You have to understand the the innate sense of it's all going to fall apart. You know, it's just suspect, right? Right. I love this team is what yeah. you're getting from people yeah. because they're different. And yeah. yesterday proved it. They went down 4-1, and it wasn't the same old Braves. They hung around long enough to have a big inning. And, and I give them credit, but I also hate the fact <sighs> that, you know – I mean, what a cakewalk to the NLCS, in my opinion. Again, I haven't been as big on the Marlins, and I don't have the respect that you do for the Marlins. The Marlins are a good team. Well, the Cubs would be just too. the same, I guess. So what? Yeah, to me, right. and I don't mean I don't mean yeah. to take anything for granted, but they no. that this bad Marlins team they barely scored yeah. on. So yeah, but I'm I'm sitting here thinking, and I don't think we would have done it. But I'm sitting here thinking, same with the Dodgers, though I, they got the same story. They I have the, a cakewalk. If I if I had the well, the Padres are good. I, I, the, the Padres, Padres are, are the most overrated baseball team. Ever well, without their pitching with Lamette and Clevenger, well, yeah. yeah, they're good. Clevenger well, exited after one inning last he night, tried. so he tried. He, he hit seventy seven, which makes me think he just tore everything. Yeah, I figure he's done. So uh, that happened in the late game. Yankees Rays is a great series. A great I series. mean, it's going to go back and forth. I mean, the Rays do not back down to the Yankees at all, and it's going to take a team like that to beat the Yankees because the Yankees. The one thing about the Yankees is they don't quite have the pitching. And the Rays just trot guy after they're just oh my god! But those games take seven hours. That cash he changes pitchers and hmm. the, you know he's got to keep him in for three. But he's quick to pull. He's got the hook, man. He'll pull him quick. So those those playoff baseball, man. If you don't have a team in it, it's 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 a little bit tougher watch because you know if your team's playing, every pitch is like magnified. But if your team's not in it, you're like hurry up and throw. <laughs> Correct. So, and um, yeah. like I said, it's just. And it's, by the way, I'll say this the Rays Yankees winners go into the World Series. God bless the Astros, but I didn't know this. A Grinky may not even pitch in this series. Why not? They don't have, he's hurt. I didn't know that. And he they pitched don't have, in the, when they needed him in the wild card. Well, That's weird. They, they're hoping, he, but they don't know. That, and, and Their other pitchers are better than we they're, know. They're, they're okay, just not names. but Verlander's already out, too. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have Grinky and Verlander, you ain't going to the World Series. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So good for the Astros for. For taking a two nothing lead and, and at least trying to at least regain some of their yeah press, you know some of the reputation yeah. at yeah. least that's ball players the character part you've you've screwed that one forever although, no one, although now correct me if I'm wrong the Astros are playing in L A correct yeah, if I was a Dodger fan I'd be ticked I don't want them in our, our uh-huh. stadium well uh, <laughs> I'll tell you who else doesn't want them there the A's because that's yeah. Springer. Like they said, I th- they think he might live in Dodger Stadium. I guess his numbers are unbelievable. Yeah, he ought to he sign there, but he's going to be a Met, so that'll be good. All right, so well, so uh, Braves, process. by the way, go again. It's, I, I'm, I'm sorry for you Braves fans driving into work right now, trying to get off early. I, 
I know you kind of get in fourth, fifth inning maybe at the best. It's, it's right in my wheelhouse. I can get a few things done, and 2 o'clock is uh, perfect for me. But it is Braves again today uh, at 2. It's A's, Astros at 335. Rays, Yankees, they give it to us an hour earlier tonight. That'll be nice at 710. And then the uh, Dodgers and the Padres are the nightcap. And I, I'm with you. It looks like Yankees, Astros, or Rays, Yankees versus Astros yeah. with one of Rays, those. Rays, Yankees is the one to watch. If, you, yeah. if you're only going to watch one, Rays, Yankees is, is really good yeah, theater. I think they that, hate each other. Yeah. Uh, the Rays got some great about them. Uh, they have better battle. pitching. They have better pitching. Yeah, so they, yeah. That's why that first game with Garrett Cole, it was probably, you know, you can't go, oh, the Yankees got it because outside of Garrett Cole, the Yankees are beatable. Yeah, right. Tanaka, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. He's, you know, he could be great, but you don't know. Uh, but the Rays had to win that one yesterday. Yeah. Uh, talk about it opening up, as you said it did for the Braves. Boy, did it open for LeBron this year, huh? He missed the oh, Clippers man. in the West. Yeah. He missed the Bucks coming out of the East. Right. And credit the Miami Heat. And also, Credit LeBron. Yeah, I, I swear, Dan. If, if LeBron, I was one of the record, the new finals record low number of viewers who watched the finals last night. Mm-hmm. So guilty as charged. If LeBron James wanted to go James Harden, mm-hmm. and instead of doing your dainty little step back three with your butt poked out, uh, decided, okay, every possession I'm just going to drive to the hole. He could score seventy a game. Man. He's unstoppable. Uh, if you're quick enough to stay with him, you're too small, and if you're big enough to yeah. guard him, you're too slow. Yeah. And if he wanted to drive in, now, I do get awful tired, and it's not just LeBron, but, man, the Lakers cry, boy. They oh, cry gosh. for fouls more than anyone. I think that's one reason I love Jimmy Butler. He he never once complains, and last, last night he had a couple opportunities. I've never been a Laker fan, so yeah. I'll tip my cap to him. And uh, back from when I was a kid, and the Knicks and Lakers were – Went at it. I was a Celt- I was I, on the Celtic side of the Celtics, Lakers, and in, in in, you know that. I probably era. that was probably the one era where I sort of enjoyed and, and res- always respected them and, and enjoyed watching the Lakers play. Showtime was kind of fun, but uh, this group, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm I'm I've been pro LeBron with Cleveland, anti LeBron everywhere else. But uh, AD is annoying me too. I mean, me too. he went down last night. You would have thought he was done for the series, just laying there flat like he was dead. And again, dead. I, I, and, and a guy came over, stretched his leg, and yeah. all of a sudden he stays in the game. Well, I mean, what do we do? I, I, he did something. There's another aspect <laughs> to the game that bothers me. You know, I saw AD shooting threes when it was, you know, they were down four. I didn't see him make one. You know, suddenly the Lakers had a six point lead, and he hit a three, and he stands at the top with his yeah. arm up. Yeah. You know, uh, it's easy to root against the favorite, and this favorite has even more. But they're, built they're, in they're animus. it's over. Only only uh, one yeah, no, only one team right. in NBA Finals history has come back from a three one. By the way, it wouldn't matter. That was Cleveland. Again, the point here is how the bracket opened up. It wouldn't matter if Dragic was playing. Right. No. It doesn't. I mean, they're they're five or six. They they might go six games with Dragic. They're not winning the series. And and if, like I said, if LeBron wanted to, Mm -hmm. he could and and just dominate the ball and clear out. The guy could score 100 points tonight if he wanted to. They got help from Rondo and and Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope had a great game. That helped him. Uh, Breaking this morning, uh, boy, I'm telling you what, man. Uh, the GOAT in New England has had his hands full. Now um, the reigning NFL Defensive Player of the Year, Stephon Gilmore, goes on the COVID list. Uh, he tested positive, uh, so he's out. Now this probably worries the whole Kansas City faction. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, because he played. Um, so I give um, the NFL, uh, I think, Probably surprised some people the ability to get that game off and play it like they did on Monday with, you know, again, you lost your quarterback. But, you know, the, the, here's the only difference between when it comes to these NFL players between having COVID and, and, pl- and having the flu. They don't have the option of playing through, which is kind of silly, really. Yeah. The, the effects for the NFL player are, are not much different than the effects of the flu. I mean, that's not opinion anymore. That's right. all the many cases that have been played out. And so you would, a quarterback would never skip a game with the flu, ever. Yeah. So, um, I'll go back to uh, something. I want to talk uh, a lot of college ball today. We haven't talked a, a ton of it. Um, and I want to get into uh, the Gators and they're going to Texas A&M. The neat story there was uh, Kyle Trask admitted that he was named for Kyle Field. Is that right? Yeah, his parents are huge A&M people. They're from Houston. And huh. yes. so they You guys from Houston? <laughs> yeah. So we're looking. We're, we asked him if uh, he would change his uh, middle name to Swamp. You know, but he apparently he declined that. But yeah, Kyle Kyle Trask is named for Kyle Field. So what a thrill that will be for him. You know, I, I did a, a, a story on him in the preseason and I was looking up some old video and there's a lot of video of him at Texas A and M camps. So clearly, uh, this guy and he said I was I, I was born to uh, I was taught to hate Texas. I hate Texas. You know, that was my whole. You know, the, he's an Aggie. He's an Aggie through and through, and 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 he's from the Houston area. So it's kind of a cool story for him to go back. 
Other news, Emory Jones has been named starter for this week's game at Texas. <laughs> oh, no, no. He would want nothing better than to beat him with his, with his family. I, I got to pause this for just a second. Uh-huh. Uh, we right now, full court press, um, what, however you want to call it. So if you're in any of these areas of town, and I said areas, uh-huh. these are the speed traps that have been sent oh, in the last called in? Okay, 12 minutes. minutes. You yeah. ready? Fort Caroline between Hartsville and Townsend Boulevard. Okay. Um, Blunt Island. Uh, Hexer Drive near Jacksport. That's that's Blunt Island. A slew of Ponch and Johns there. And then the Honey Pot uh, down there um, at the 295-95 merger. And also Speed Trap at uh, the Beltway coming across the Buckman into uh, Mandarin. There's another one. Here's another one at Blunt, uh, Blunt Island and Hexer. So... Um, uh, I-10 East, where you slow to 55, they're going to get you. So, uh, point is, we got one of those days out there. So, keep your speeds down. All right. Um, yeah, for sure. So, anyways, a lot of college ball. Obviously, Florida, Texas A&M is your noon game uh, coming up on Saturday. Georgia, Tennessee also Saturday. And <sighs> we touched on this on Monday, obviously, when we go over the games. But what Muschamp did in the fourth quarter, to me, really is almost a fireable offense because what, what frustrates me is, is is there's a guy who's not playing to win football. And and so there's eight minutes left. He took 723 off the board. Um, and and what bothers me more is how he's sort of defended it the last few days. You know, how about saying, yeah, we messed up. We got to be hurt. We got to be much faster than that. I don't know. You're never going to win it. anything if you don't play to win. You have to at least try to play to win. Look, the, one of the uh, one of the South Carolina reporters went and did a um, uh, uh, they called it um, fart and away time. They did a whole column, a list uh, between each play on that drive. And these guys were I taking was, 35, 45 seconds between plays, huddling up. And I, not just and look. It was egregious when there was when you're down fourteen and there was seven and a yeah. half minutes to go. Cross my question to you, to Muschamp would be this then. Because he said, well, look, we got to get a touchdown and then an onside. My question to you is, so if you have 48 say, four seconds. Minutes, no, say if you had four minutes left and you have absolutely no chance to get two touchdowns, you know, you got to push the ball down the field at some point. You have no, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let us, he said. You got to have some play where you can hit a seam or something against that defense. I, I, I was, I'm still, I'm still amazed. Um, they have Vanderbilt this weekend, and they better win because if not, they're gonna. They're and I think and they way will. tougher than, than yeah, expected. They so far. will, but uh, uh, what do you? What's your feel on the Florida Texas A and M game? Uh, I like kind of what the odds makers say, so I'm gonna. But I think that Florida may. If Florida's not careful, about they may defense. have to win really, a shootout. I'm really yeah. worried. I'm yeah. worried about the defense and the day because of the day. The game will come as much as they're throwing the ball. The game's gonna come where Trask throws two or three. They talked about um, one of the th- topics yesterday. Amari Bernie's been not very good. Yeah, those, and, nor have uh, and Amari Bernie wore it yesterday. And he Steiner met, hasn't been any good. No, well, he, Stewart's back this week, yeah. so that's good. So Stewart and Davis' safeties will help a lot. Um, but Amari Bernie has stood out. And I've Dean watched, has not been any good. I've watched him, and he's really struggled. And he met the media yesterday. And he said, "Look, no excuses, but you know he's he's changed positions a bunch of times. He's learning on the go." And and they admitted that. Grantham also admitted we got to teach him better, coach him better. So he's too good of an athlete to not play. So I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because I like his attitude. But he does have to play better. He like sometimes he just takes on blocks when he doesn't even have to. Like a fullback's coming at him, and he's taking on the guys. The running backs running right by him. I mean, you just you got to see what you see, but maybe he's not used to seeing yeah. what he sees. So yeah. it's kind of a process going on for for him. But, yeah, so Florida, uh, Texas A&M, and I want to get into that in the second hour today. Yeah, I want to talk more well. about uh, more college football as well. I had some, some some takeaways from the weekend that are still kind of simmering. With, you know, we've always talked about with a little regret about what happens on Mondays in an NFL town. The college football weekend somehow just gets, gets by you. Yeah. And there's a lot of interesting stories. I have uh, done the research, Dan. I have stumbled upon a surefire way uh-huh. for the Jags to beat the Texans this week. Tell me. Now, if we only had coaching staffs that could also stumble upon these things and implement a game plan to make make mm-hmm. it more certain that it happens, I don't have that ability. So hopefully someone down there is listening. Oh, yeah. uh, um, what is it? I'm going to tell you when we come back. All right. I mean, and this, again, um, I can almost guarantee the Jaguars a victory this weekend if they will just, ladies and gentlemen, if they will just, I don't know, coach like they're beyond fourth grade. Can like we it's not Pop the Warner here. Yeah, this is incredible. If, if you don't capitalize on this, 
then it's on you. Then you're not trying. Ladies How about and that? gentlemen, breaking news yeah. in the 8 o'clock hour. Yeah. You won't want to go anywhere no. else. Yeah. Uh, let's do caller number three, Beef, at 641-1010. Right. Tell them what they're going to win. Uh, caller number three will also be dancing in the streets, Dan, when they take home a cool 25 bucks to dine on us at Donato's well, Pizza. And, and you know what? If you ever want a big, huge concrete structure only to find out that it's dilapidated and it's got all kinds of issues, then you call CPR Contracting and you'd have that taken care of as well. It's a CPR Contracting Wednesday on The Drill.